Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do your weekly read. Thank you for being here with me. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Um, let's go ahead and jump into this. Thank you God for blessing the Aquarius Collective with a clear, concise message from you. So Aquarius, we have one of our Aquarius um, sisters, followers. Um, she makes some really cool, um, yeah, she makes some really cool items. Um, this is a nice little coaster um, or just a, a decorative uh, item. If you do tarot card readings or if you want it on your altar. She also makes candles. This candle smells really good. This is a money candle. This is one of her money candles. And she's got little uh, bits of uh, cinnamon, cinnamon sticks, and uh, money pieces in the candle. So um, it smells so good. Uh, so uh, this is a really good buy. Um, check her out. I'm gonna link her, her website uh, below if you wanna purchase some of her items, okay? Um, and if you have items that you want to have showcased here, uh, just send me an email. We can talk about that. Um, there's no fee or anything like that, but we'll just talk about what you want to have showcased. So let's get into it, Aquarius. Um, we're going to talk about the, um, the past, the present, and the future energy uh, for this week and the upcoming weeks also. So let's see what's going on here. Uh, in the past, we had prison. So for some of you, you were in a mental prison. Somebody was in a mental prison about you. Somebody felt confined, stuck, just bound, like they couldn't get out of something. It could have been that you felt like you couldn't get out of something in terms of your mental space or you were physically, you know, stuck somewhere or you, you couldn't see a way out of this thing. Somebody could be in prison. It could be you, Aquarius. It could be someone else. Um, someone is in a mental prison about you and what they did to you or what they didn't do, how they didn't show up. Let's talk about it. Let's see. Presently, we we have the old woman. So it's like, um, I don't know, some of you are in a, in, an, in a energy where you feel like you need to reach backwards. You need to bring something from your past into your present because you feel like you're running out of time to maybe find something or someone new. This card some times comes up when you, um, yeah, when you feel like you're running out of time, so you start r grasping for straws. So you're trying to, you know, pull on what, what is available. Some of you, it could have been, you know, a person from your past or some situation or anything. It's like you're grasping for straws at this point. You're, you're willing to settle, uh, maybe even for, to settle for someone in your past. Uh, things aren't going exactly the way you you envisioned them to go. Therefore, now you're going to plan B, C, D. I mean, you're just all over the place when the old woman shows up. Uh, it could be a thing of age also. Some of you feel like you're getting older, so you need to settle settle down. Um, you're trying to do that, and maybe you're, you're um, not seeing the forest for the trees, or you're, you're just looking in the wrong place, or... Um, you're not seeing what is right before you is what I'm hearing. The future is the death card. Yeah. Um, so something is going to be a no go. This also could be somebody else too. So if somebody else is looking at their options. They're slim to none. They're looking at Aquarius as a good option. Now they want to go pull you, pull you, you know, see if you're still available, pull you off the shelf, uh, pull you back into, um, yeah, somebody feels like they're running out of time also, or you're slipping away, or they feel like they have to, you know, they're grasping at straws. They want to see if, you, if you'll if you take, um, they're throwing a bait out. Will you, you know, can they hook you? Can they reel you back in? Um, and it, the only thing I would say about this is it's disingenuous in terms of, you know, love and devotion and change and betterment and thriving this is more so about, uh, my options are slim to none. What is Aquarius doing nowadays? You know? So it's like, maybe somebody wants to, you know, dip backwards because of the particular certain circumstances in their life, you know, whatever, whatever is going on in their life. They feel like, um, you know, maybe you're, you're always an option or you used to always be an option or they just feel like maybe they have you in the back pocket or 
something like that. And this could be you too, Aquarius. But it looks like in the near future, this card, the death card in the uh, Sabilas, specifically talk about something being a no-go. There are too many issues, unresolved issues. Therefore, something is a no. It's a no answer. It's a no-go. Um, it's the final nail in the coffin. We're not moving ahead. You know, we're not moving ahead. It, it's over. And a lot of times this can talk about a relationship. So for some of you, it, especially if somebody's trying to, you know, come to you, you know, under the guise of, you know, in a very disingenuous nature, you, you're going to let, let it be known that, you know, it's a no. And I feel like some of you can pick up on the fact that maybe, um, this person is trying to come back. It could even be a job. It could be a friend. It could be somebody trying to resurface. You just understand that their motive is ulterior in nature. It is something else. It is something beneath the surface. It's not who they say they are. You cannot take them at face value. There's something else. Um, so let's, let's continue going here, Aquarius. And we're going to pull those cards back in in just a second. But let's talk about what's going on this week in terms of love. Um, let's see uh, what the situation is for love, Aquarius. Okay. Let's see what's going on for love and love for Aquarius. What is the situation? Okay. There we are. And what is the advice for the Aquarius? What is the advice for the Aquarius? Okay. Okay. And the outcome, if Aquarius takes the advice of the cards. All right. So Aquarius, you have the two of wands at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so the situation is, the, I knew, the knight of swords. This old woman that we just talked about, it could be somebody else. It could be you, Aquarius. Um, the advice is the eight of pentacles. Yeah, this is somebody else. Um, and the outcome is the queen of pentacles. Wow, Aquarius. This is beautiful. So this is about love. You see, we have no cup cards. We don't have any, you know, nine of cups, any cups cards. Okay. So we have somebody who, with the two of wands, they go in between you and something else or you and somebody else. Um, this is the, the in between, the go between. I have two choices. You know, I'm just going to decide which way to go. Um, somebody, once again, they could have left you or left the situation or left the relationship because they thought, you know, the grass was greener on the other side, but now they're coming back. Once again, somebody didn't get what they wanted because in the two of wands, it talks about um, being sure that you make the right decision because if you make the wrong one, it can lead to karma or karmic connection. So somebody made the wrong decision in love that maybe wasn't you or vice versa this is what you did aquarius and now they're stuck in some karmic hell they're stuck in some karmic situation that they want out of that they didn't get what they wanted in and now they're they're trying to double back you're trying to see if you're still available they feel you slipping away and this one it's funny that it wanted to fall with the knight of swords because the knight of swords talks about um in love the knight of swords talks about somebody who is hard to commit it's hard for them to commit, make a commitment to anyone. Um, they think that they're smarter than everyone. They want to um, intellectualize everything, overthink things. Also, it can talk about in love when somebody feels like someone is slipping away, like the person is getting away. They'll do something very grand, very uh, big to bring the person back in, to reel the person back in. And we talked about somebody trying to reel you in or you trying to reel someone in. Um, they'll do something to try to reel you back in. But... Um, the knights are on conquest, so they're on, they're trying to conquer something, right? So th that would be the conquest of the knight to conquer you, to get you back to, um, the quest is you. If they can pull you back in, then that was, it, it's fulfilled that the journey is fulfilled. There's nothing else after that though, with the knight of swords. So if you're expecting that, okay, this person did something really big by coming back to me, professing their love or whatever they may say to you. If you allow them to come back and they do come back, do know that there's nothing else after that. There's no change. There's no plan. There's no course of action that will be taken. You know, that was the plan to get you back. 
So it looks like the situation is weak. Is somebody wanting you back? They're going to try to get you back. They're going to try to over talk you, intellectualize you, coming back to them. Um, they're up for confrontation. They they want to confront this and you head on. The advice of the cards, you know, is saying, look, Eight of Pentacles, work on yourself. Be focused on you, Aquarius. Don't focus on this person. Don't focus on whatever it is they say that they are offering. Um, you've given this person chance after chance. You've done something over and over again. The Eight of Pentacles in love can talk about giving somebody chance after chance. Nothing ever changes. It's a cycle. It's cyclical. The Eights, how you make a, the number eight is to put two circles together. So it's like two people going around and around, never really getting off the merry-go-round, just, you know, just over and over again. Um, this also could talk about, you know, somebody being more invested. So it's the advice is that if you do get back with this person, you're going to be the one invested. You're going to be the one more invested in this connection. Um, you can also, um, with the Eight of Pentacles, it talks about just focus on you. It talks about being too busy with work, with business, job, career, to be focused on love. So um, that's the advice of the cards. Um, the advice of the cards is also, this person could be listening to something over and over again, maybe something about you, or you could be listening to something over and over again about Tarot. I mean, I don't know what, why that came up, but anyway, um, you could just be going over and over something. Um, this person could also feel like they they lost something. The Eight of Pentacles can talk about having lost something, needing to find it. Um, they, they could feel like they lost you and they need to find you or vice versa. This is how you feel, Aquarius. The outcome, if you take the advice of the cards, is the Queen of Pentacles. Very, very nice. Okay, so for love, the Queen of Pentacles talks about, firstly, there's a strong desire for some of you to become mothers if you are not already a mother. Um, the Eight of Pen excuse me, the Queen of Pentacles in love, it talks about um, having a love for yourself, your body, what you put in your body, where you live, um, luxury, your home, your children, if you have any. It talks about being the devoted mother, maybe even the working parent. So you, you, um, you could, um, yeah, it could be a working mom. You go to work. You actually do something to earn income. The Queen of Pentacles in love can also talk. It talks about knowing your worth and understanding that you're a good catch, that you are a catch here. It also talks about there, there's going to come a time, a period in your life where relationship is going to, you're going to come into a more serious commitment in terms of a relationship and love only if you take the advice of the cards okay if you do this then you get this if you don't do this then i don't know um so it, it just talks about growth and thriving and the only way you can do that is for you by by yourself uh, doing for yourself um you should not be focused on anyone in this type of energy who wants to come back and um, kind of cause confusion. At the bottom of this deck, you have the enemy card. All right, so uh, for some of you, this could be a friendship, okay? This is gonna resonate for friendship, and for some of you, it's gonna resonate in terms of a love uh, relationship. And the enemy, it talks about, um, it's so, I, I love how they define this card because, I don't know, I love, I love definitions, I love words, I love, you know, that. Anyway, so, um, enemy how they define enemy is something that is in direct contrast or contradiction to what it is you say you want so Aquarius if it's that you you know the universe knows that you want to be in a more committed connection um that you want to be in something that is going towards maybe marriage and longevity then this person coming back is in direct contradiction or uh, it's contrary to what it is you say you want because we know that this person is not able to give you this and this is not what they're looking for anyway because they're coming to you you know with false hope disingenuous at best um the enemy card so they want you to know that this is this is not what you want because it's it's opposite it's opposition of what you say what you've pr been professing to the universe what would you say you want you want a husband you want a wife this person is in direct opposition to that this is um this is taurus this is aquarius yeah that's what i'm getting 
uh, I don't know why I was prompted to do the signs. But anyway, let's move forward. So we're going to talk about career and finance, and then we're going to close this thing out. Um, all right, and we'll just move these up just a bit. All right. So Aquarius, um, we're going to do the situation for your career and finance. Okay. That wanted to come out f quickly. And then we're going to do, um, advice, advice for career and finance advice. Okay. Wow. Very nice. And the outcome for career and finance. If Aquarius takes the advice of the cards, very nice. Okay. Okay, at the bottom of the day. Okay, so come out of this energy, Aquarius. The universe wants you to understand the nine of swords. That, um, right now, okay, so you're in a place where you can manifest rather quickly, rapidly. So if you are in this energy of the nine of swords where you are thinking negatively, then that's what you're going to get, okay? Um, so they, they don't want you to worry. There's no need to worry here in the nine of swords. You're overthinking something. You're overworking it in your head. Um, get very clear about what's happening and how it's happening for you. Um, the situation this week is the six of swords in terms of your career and finance. Um, some of you could be moving away from a job, um, maybe taking a vacation, or some of you could be coming off of a vacation going back to work um some of you are just having a, some very peaceful um energy you're having some rest here some transition some of you you're like in a holding place in a holding place in terms of where you're going next because transition is when you're in that space in between so it's like some of you are about to embark on something new into something new into something better into something more prosperous abundant so it's like you're in that transition phase here the advice is the ace of cups be filled with loving care uh joyous energy thoughts emotions let spirit fill you speak to spirit god universe whatever you want to call it let let yourself be filled let your cup overflow um career finance with the ace of cups some of you are embarking on a new business venture that can be very profitable for you this is this is not partnership this is something you're going to be doing by yourself with the ace of cups this could be spiritual work you could be a spiritual worker uh you could be in uh health and fitness or well-being or medicine um you could be doing something that you absolutely love though that fulfills you on a soul level okay um the universe is behind you also um they're presenting an opportunity for you to start something new something that you're very good at this could even be a new career a uh, new trajectory new job because we've got the knight of swords coming up as the outcome so some of you could be yeah, going into a new career new job you're doing something rather quickly making some move you're determined to see it through you're just determined to have success you're determined um to actually fulfill this thing this goal goal fulfillment here it's like your tunnel vision on this thing on uh, getting this thing on obtaining this thing on maintaining this thing uh whatever it may be it could be a new job it could be a new business something about that um but that's all you can see that's all you can think about that's all you dream about it's you know it's here in the present for you um some of you are coming up with new creative ways to earn money also with the knight of swords whatever it is you're you're embarking on it quickly you like you time is of the essence and you have to get everything in order so that's the outcome here which is good nothing but good cards make sure you're manifesting from a high vibration and don't think of all the negative things and when you do just counteract it with 10 different positive things okay um where are we going um one last card of advice for the aquarius overall advice for the aquarius wow eight of pentacles you got 
some repeating cards, Aquarius. Uh, the Knight of Swords coming up for love and career. The Eight of Pentacles coming up again. Uh, it looks like the universe wants you to focus on you, Aquarius, and you only because you're getting some karmic justice here. Your dreams could actually be becoming real true for you. It looks like you're trying to do something solo. You're trying to move or make a move solo here. Somebody is inquiring about your newfound wealth or, what it, or how you came into this. Um, how, and maybe they may even be inquiring about... Um, How did you get out of a place of lack and need and now you're in a place of where you can give and be generous? Wow. Um, so it looks like a lot of people, um, they're looking at you, inquiring about you, asking questions, maybe even amongst other people. They know that they can't come to you because it looks like you're kind of focused on you and you're a bit reserved, we'll say. Um, the Eight of Pentacles is the advice. Be prudent with your time, your energy, and your money, your resources. Watch where your money is going, what it's going to. Um, make sure that um, all your bases are covered here. You're going to have to do something over and over again, Aquarius, to get it to some self-sustaining energy to where you can be kind of hands-off. Right now, it may be a place where you might be in a place where you, you know, you have to be the workaholic and you're wearing so many different hats, especially if you are a business owner. It, it won't be long before, it, you know, well, excuse me, I won't say that. Eight of Pentacles, what they're saying is, um, okay, so eight, the Eight of Pentacles talks about work, you know, um, work and force, okay, um, Make sure that you're putting enough force and time behind something so that it can work. If something is not working, it's because you have not put enough force, time behind it. You know, the equation for work is force uh, times, you know, multiplied by time or distance. You know, how long have you been doing this thing? How much effort have you been putting behind it? So you, you have to make sure that you are actually... Um, Putting in the time. Keep a log of your hours. I don't know why this is coming up. But you know, you have to balance spirituality and practicality. If you work on your life's dream only two hours of the week, and you wonder why it doesn't work, well, we've got your answer right there. So anyway, Aquarius, this is what's going on for you. I hope that it resonates. If it does, go over to the website, book your own reading there. I thought I would extend this, but I think this is pretty extensive. Um, if you took something from the reading, comment below what you took from the reading, how it blessed you. Um, thank you, Aquarius. Get your own reading at the website level. Ask a question by texting it to the number below or catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night where I answer questions. You can come for the collective reading. Um, Make sure you check out uh, uh, Ruby's daughter. Uh, she has the money candles and different candles and incense at her website. It will be linked below. Thank you, guys. Many blessings to you.